The Twilight Zone, 1959. A man in the bottle. You're travelling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. Journeying into a wondrous land of imagination. Next up, the Twilight Zone. Edna. Huh. What about gas electric? What? The gas electric bill. How many months is that? Four months. That one you better pay. Huh? That one I can't pay. I wish how... How are you, Miss Goldley? Ah, uh, just fine, Mr. Castle. How have you been? Oh, can't complain. Been having a lot of rain, haven't we? Quite a lot of rain for this time of year, really. Good for the flowers. How's that? An heirloom today, Mr. Castle. An heirloom, Mrs. Cumbly? Oh, yes, Mr. Castle. Been in my family for years and years. Supposed to be very valuable. Hand-blown glass. Is that it? But it is. Really? Ha <laughs> ha. Miss Cumbly. It's just a plain old wine bottle. Do you know what it's worth? Nothing. If you could find the store where it came from, that's what you, they would give you for it, Miss Gumbly. Nothing. I get. I could let it go for a dollar, Miss Gumbly. But if you spare a dollar, I'll give it to you. Believe me, I would. But well, things have been rough here, so it, I was so in debt myself. I wish I could make it more. I really do. Thank you, Mister Castle. You're a wonderful man. God bless you, Mister Castle. It's not an heirloom, you know. I found it in an ash can. Please, Mr. Castle, for, please. Please, Mr. Castle, forgive me for lying. Ah, that's all right, Miss Gumbly. Who knows? Maybe it turned to be... out to be an heirloom. Yeah, really, thank you, gorgeous. She has to eat, doesn't she? You don't, Arthur. We're just around the corner from bankruptcy. You promise me? No more handouts. Look in there. Maybe all i got... Left is to try to find some poor clod who could who could feel sorry for. Maybe a man could be a failure for only so long, and then then it catches up with him. Look at it, Edna. Look at it. Legacy of the hundred years. My grandfather owned it. It broke his heart. Then my father. It killed him too. Look at it. Look at it. The meanness of the shabbiness of it. The hand and mouth of it. It isn't just an antique shop. Where you pick up the pitiful remnants of other people's failures, it's trying to failure itself. That's what it is. It's smooth as a limb, a burial ground for people's hopes. Ed, what happened to us anyway? What happens to us? We're not old people, and yet this place is making us old. There must be years ahead. There must be years ahead of us but that come without scrimping and counting, picking over checkbooks and budgets, finding notices and old bills. Hey, hey, Mister. And Mrs. Arthur Castle, gentle, infinitely patient people whose lives have been in a hope chest, a rusty lock, a lost set of keys. Then, at just that moment, the hope chest will be opened. A probable phantom will try to redeck the drabness, the typical failure, laden lives with gold and precious stones of fulfilment. Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Castle, standing on the outskirts, about to enter the twilight zone. How do you do? Rather than go into any lengthy genetic explanation of my existence today, suffice to say I'm a genie. That's yes, quite correct, a genie. I can offer you four wishes for granted performance. For guaranteed performance. Well, Mr. Castle, Miss Castle, whatever you mind, Arthur, what's happening to us? He's hypnotist or something. Nothing of sort. I grant four wishes to the owner, then go back inside the bottle for a century, a year, until a summer. So the summons comes from the next owner. Now I think the business at hand is for you and Miss Castle to decide for the nature of your four wishes. Keeping in mind, of course, Edna, that each wish is irrevocable. Once made, it's fulfilled. Once fulfilled, it's a matter of record. It can only be altered by yet another wish. Clear, Mr. Castle. I think we'd better call the police. Wish for them. I can bring the name of Scotland Yard, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, every bobby in the city of London. It is the police you want? No. That is not what we wish for. Arthur, you're out of your mind. You believe him? Please go on, Mr. Castle. You were saying, well, if I had to wish, just for the sake of argument, I say I wanted the broken glass in that case to be fixed. Would you make, would like to make it official, Mr. Castle? Well, Mr. Castle, is that your wish? Yes, that is my wish. I wish the glass in that display case to be repaired. Well, Mr. Castle, you have three wishes left. Three wishes? Three wishes, three wishes. Anything we want. Well, 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 think, think. 
What do you want? I nothing, Arthur. I want nothing. A new shop, expensive shop on Fifth Avenue. We could have that just for the asking. Oh, money, Edna, money. A hundred thousand, two hundred thousand. A million, Edna, Edna. We wouldn't have to grub any more. We wouldn't, we wouldn't to sit her and waste our lives away. I've known there's something unholy about this. Clothes, Edna, expensive clothes, jewels, a beautiful house. Everything we want, Edna. No more worries for the rest of our lives. Money, money. The simplest, Mr. Castle. How much and what denominations? How much do we want? I don't know, I don't know. A million dollars right here on the floor. In five or ten meals. That's what we want. A million dollars, ask. If you should see, Mr. Castle. Edna, Edna, a million dollars, Edna. A million dollars, a million dollars, Edna. Look, a million. Wait, 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 wait. He says, wait. He says, M- money. So much money for me. I thought maybe she could have got us out still. Here you are, my friend. Here you are. You pay off that mortgage and have yourself a start of living again. That's it. Here you are, my dear. Here to take yourself that vacation and bring back a boyfriend. Don't forget, Mr. Grumley. Oh, my dear. Here, here. My here. More. More, Miss Grumley. God bless you. God bless you. Here you are, my dear. No, no, no. You take that home with you. Here you are, Reverend. Don't you worry. It's honestly money. You take it and get that chapel painted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, Dolly. You, here you are. Come here. Tell Andrew to get yourself a new truck. Red wheels. Remember. Here you are. You are. My, my no need. A car, Mr. Castle. Office to internal revenue. Yes, that's correct. As a matter of the income tax, Mr. Castle. Just send us the bill and we pay it. Just send us the bill in a hurry, would you please? My life have been taken, be, taken off in Europe very shortly. The pendants, whole neighbourhood. Oh no, they don't count. What does the figure, what does that figure there mean? It does, Mr. Castle. Based on the basis of husband and wife, using the standard deductions, you owe the government approximately $907,000. What? Yes, that's correct. In addition, there's a state home income tax involved with using one rule. The whole thing comes to a total roughly, mind you, 942640 Arthur, we've already given away a lot of money. Well, now, if you just fill out this form and send it to us for a check, uh, if you want uh, to use an instalment plan, we we'll send you a statement after the form has been analysed. Ah, uh, Mr. Castle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just send us a bill. Well, have you seen you, Mr. Castle? Good evening, Mrs. Castle. Well, 910, 530, 510, 535, 910, 540. They gave away almost 60,000. And this goes to taxes. And this, and this, $5, yeah. Quite a wish, Arthur, quite a wish. I hadn't been paid those bills yet, Mr. Castle. It was my suggestion. You reflect very carefully, Miss Castle. Very, very carefully. Now that you made a wish, it took into account the taxes of old on you. Oh, look, you plenty of sweet talk and promises. Whole thing. All the time, you nothing about a con artist. You try to want a million dollars. I want after, uh, after, after, Arthur. No more money. You've got to wish for something else. Something else? How about ten more wishes? Or twenty? Don't be such a, a hurry, Arthur. Then you think of something, I'm afraid, and wishing for another more wishes. Permit me, Mr. Castle. As that apparently you'll be afraid to so have you try to fear the consequences. What consequences? Why do you keep losing your temper? Well, you've no, no help for me, to, for me. That's for sure. Here we stand in this crummy little shop with the whole world out in front of us. We have anything to wish for, what we want. And you just stay on, on my back, I had, uh, Arthur Edna. What's what's happening with us? What's going on, Oli? Enough, Mr. Castle. It's a long pattern that seems to be generally followed. Great excitement, great emotionism. Strange enough, hard to believe though it may be, a matter of more happiness. Well, you could, you've got a couple cheap, of cheap customers here, Mr. People have no much happiness. What? What? What do we wish for? I wish on you, Arthur. I don't know. What about it, oh, Jamie? What can we wish for now? What could can come to us without tricks, without tricks. Question the semantics here, Mr. Castle. There are no tricks involved. It's simply normal and outgrowths and conditions. 
go with any windfall, no matter what you wish for, that you must be prepared for consequences, something without, without consequences, something dead sure, something that could, something airtight. And I think I got it. I think I know what it is. What are for power? To power, uh, power, Edna. To be in charge of something, everything, the boss. To be a leader, we could wish for that if possible. Every, per, per, very possible. See, if there's a corporation, that's a thing. We could, you could go bankrupt. There is a city. You get voted out of office, then what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what. A head of county. Rule of the whole county, that's it. What about it, Jeannie? I want you to be the, be the head of the county who can't be voted out of office. Do you want to be more specific than that? Wait a minute. Let me give you you to it this way. I want to be the head of a foreign country. Can't be voted out of office. You must be a com- com- country. Complementary. Temporary. Within this re- century, of course. No, uh, no problems. Well, what about circumstances? Circumstances, Mr. Castle? I already told you. You run the risk of consequences, no matter what you wish for. All right, then, go ahead, Arthur. You wish for that. I want to be the ruler of a foreign country, just as I decided it. Go ahead, Jeannie. Take over, as you wish, Mr. Castle. From now on, it's just a mass suicide. Well, what about it, Fury? Head of country. Can't be voted out of the office. I'm Hitler. I'm a bunker. I'm in the, it's in the war, my Fury. What do you ask for? Very quick and very painless, my Fury. We have the gasoline outside for you. Miss Byrne, when you finish, I wish I were back where it all started. I wish we Arthur, I were Arthur Castle again. What's the matter, Arthur? You look so funny. What happened? I had a wish for field number four. I wish it ended the same way. All the fragments, the pieces, a funny thing, though. This place, this place doesn't look half bad. Are you right? Oh, I'm fine. Well, maybe we would stop wishing for a while. And since we obviously can't afford a brand new life, Suppose you give the old one a paint job or something. I think that's a good, very good idea. What are you laughing at? Came out a bit ahead anyway. Shouldn't be, to- well, it shouldn't be a total loss. A word to the wise. Now the garbage collectors of the world, the curious seekers, to the antique buffs. For anyone who would try to coax out a miracle from lucky places, check their bottle, you're taking back the two cent deposit. The genie might, you might, you say, you might be your own. See, in point, case in point, Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Smith. Fifth in the brief is a trip to the wider, to wider zone.